Hi everyone. Well, today I'm about to make Betty's cheese hot dogs and I saw this on her channel and it looked absolutely amazing. And then I saw some other guy copy her and his didn't look anywhere near as good as Betty's. But I thought, you know what? I think I can improve on both of them and make them even tastier. So let's start making Grego's cheesy hot dogs. <laughs> this is Greg's kitchen. So for this, what we're going to use is some hot dogs. Now, a lot of people ask me, Greg, why are hot dogs red? Well, what do you want them to be, green? <laughs> we'll be using some cheeses. I'm using some onion and some tomato sauce. And we'll also be using some mustard. You'll need some bread, of course, some nice fresh stuff that can actually fold and not snap in half once you've, once you've uh, folded it. And we'll need some toothpicks as well. I had an ex called toothpick. <laughs> oh, and we also need some butter. Gosh, I nearly forgot the butter. Where is it? Here it is. I've got some easy spread butter here because um, it's much better. Now, if you have got um, some normal butter and you have one of those paint brushes that you can paint the butter on, please use that. Unfortunately, I lent my paintbrush to someone and they painted their garage with it. Now, we'll be using two elements today. I'll be using the oven, which I'll set to 180 degrees Celsius, which is 350 Farringer jingles. And we'll also be using our broiler, which I'll turn up pretty high. Now, here in Australia, we call a broiler a grill. And a broiler here in Australia is like some really crusty old woman. <laughs> Now in none of the other videos, they actually used onions and oh, I can't see why you wouldn't want to love some onion on a hot dog. So I'm just going to cut a little bit off. We don't need too much, just a few slices. Get rid of this outer skin. There's only one good type of outer skin on something and it's not the onion, <laughs> if you know what I mean. And you can either leave it like that or you know slice it into really nice little fine bits. Now, like I said, if you are using melted butter, just throw it in the microwave for a bit and grab your paintbrush, and then you can paint the butter on. Like I said, unfortunately, my neighbor has now painted his whole garage using the one that I lent him. So I'm just going to do it the old school way. Now, a lot of you will probably think that I'm using way too much butter, <laughs> and that's because I am. Try and get it to every little nook and cranny. You can use margarine if you are that way inclined. I'm that way inclined sometimes. <laughs> Depends how much I've had to drink. <laughs> right, so you know that if you turn these over, they are going to stick to the board here. Tough luck. So now, what we'll do is on here, we will put some, oh God, sounds familiar. Put some uh, of this mustard and tomato sauce ketchup. Uh-huh, I can hear you saying yum already. And I'll also sprinkle my onions. Let me move it into focus and into shot so you can actually see what I'm doing. Now, we need to put the cheese on. Now, Betty used this really nice looking cheese. I've only got this cheap, nasty plastic cheese that I know is just gonna go everywhere once I put on the bread. So I'm, I'm just going to use one with the cheap, nasty plastic cheese. Now, of course, if you have got the nice slices, please use those. But on this one, I haven't got those slices. I'm just gonna use this cheap, nasty cheddar cheese. I might just throw some cheddar on this one too, because I know it will be missing out if I don't. Now, we put our hot dog on, diagonally across, and we need some, our toothpicks for this. You might need several to hold them in. Fold that over, stick your toothpick in. <laughs> I've said that a few times. You might need two diagonally across so it stays nice and bent. <laughs> I said that a few times too. And we'll grab our tray here with some aluminum foil and put that one on, onto the tray with our other friend. And now we just put this in the oven. Well, these ones are really quite big and thick, much bigger than Betty's and a whole lot bigger than the other guys, I tell you. So now we'll just put this in the oven, hopefully that broiler has warmed nicely up to level Hiroshima and so we'll put that in now for like eight minutes. I'll set the timer and then we have to come back and turn them over again. So I'll come back in eight minutes time 
and check on it. Okay, well, I'll just take this out. Make sure I don't overcook this. So it's sort of a little bit browner on this, but I think you'll find that underneath it actually, where it's hitting on the foil, it's actually getting nice and toasted brown. So once you turn them over, they are nice and golden brown there. So I'll probably just move this now to the bottom layer and we'll just cook that for another, uh, how many minutes? It's already sort of half cooked on the top, so I'll just set my timer and maybe leave it for another five minutes or so, or maybe six, we'll see. I prefer six to five anyway. <laughs> so anyway, the time's just gone off and you know what, I decided to move it to the bottom of my oven because my bottom's got a broiler. <laughs> oh, the oven, not me. And it was pretty pointless having my top one on when I've got the bottom one and it's cooking through the base of this anyway and getting crispy. So anyway, I left that in for another about eight minutes. So let's take it out and have a look. And then we'll tuck on in for, oh, jeez. Oh, taste this. Mm -mm. Don't forget to remove any toothpicks. And if you really want your hot dogs to stand out from the crowd, just add a little bit of green stuff on the plate. That'll make all the difference. Now I better just cut one open, just in case my subscribers have a whinge and a cry that I didn't. So, because I know how much they like to look inside my things. <laughs> so, so, there we go. That looks absolutely edible and amazing. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That looks so delicious. I love the sausage. Greg's hot dogs will bring all the boys to the yard. Anyway, let's see what that tastes like. Oh, oh my God. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh. Oh. Straight away, heaven. Those hot dogs are cooked all the way through. The onion there pokes its little head out. The mustard and tomato sauce is already there. What more do you want? I want more Greg's Kitchen, that's what I want. <laughs> and if you do want more Greg's Kitchen, remember hit my head in the corner down here and subscribe for more. Also, if you are a regular viewer, please give some money to my fan funding or my Patreon account as well. That'll help me go a long way to continue making videos. Well guys, thanks for watching. Remember to thumb this video up and I'll see you next time right here on Greg's Kitchen. <laughs>